made it. We're just about to start our hike up Ves Vesuvius. It was the bumpiest bus ride I've ever experienced, but excellent driver. Made it in one piece. Well, my spleen may be on the bus, but beautiful day. We're going to hike up to the top of Vesuvius. We hope it doesn't blow its top. We're hiking up to the top of Mount Vesuvius and we're going to have some great views. It takes about a half an hour to hike there, maybe a little bit less on this dirt volcanic ash trail. So come along to the top and we'll see what it looks like from the very top and also see if Vesuvius is steaming today, which it probably is. Come along. Two thousand years ago, in 79, A.D. 79, August 24th, Mount Vesuvius, this crater, this volcanic crater, blew its top and spewed ashes and lava and smoke that destroyed the city of Pompeii, which is right below us. I'm glad it's not spewing today because I don't want to be encased in volcanic ash but it is history come alive today for me at the top of Mount Vesuvius. This is what it looks like. This is it. Imagine the scene nearly 2,000 years ago when Vesuvius sent a mushroom cloud of ash, dust, and rocks 12 miles into the sky. For 18 hours straight, spewed ash settled like a heavy snow on Pompeii that you see in the distance. Most of the city's 20,000 residents fled as roofs and floors began collapsing. But the cloud was just the start. Suddenly, the eruption turned into a red-hot avalanche of rock and ash. The flow raced down the mountainside at nearly 100 miles per hour. Pompeii and the 2,000 doomed souls who stayed behind were buried and encased in volcanic debris. At the top of Mount Vesuvius at the crater's edge, there is a little visitor's station here as tourists walk around. This is the end point. You can't really walk around the entire crater. The last time it spewed was in 1944. Vesuvius is still an active volcano it could erupt at any time. Let's hope not today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 